So I'm supposed to I'm supposed to break these. Is that enough? Yeah, that was enough. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to break all of those. There we go. Oh, you can punch them. Saves ammo. Good to know. I will start punching the uh, electrical boxes then. Oh, good. We have hit safety. Sanctuary. Okay, I might have to shoot this one. Now nah, I'll be fine. Please don't torch me. Thank you very much. I like to be known as the untorchable man. Perfect. Why is this tenser than fighting most enemies? Oh, I don't actually know if I can reach that. Nope, there we go. I like how the animation actually glitches a little bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can even tell with the uh, shadows, but the animation like kind of locks into place. To break it sometimes. Oh, is that it? Are we good? We are good. We got the thing. Ah! Ah! Is that it? You got it? Oh my god. You got it. That's the piece we need. Get to the crew deck. Oh. The elevator is all busted. That's why there's that lower section. I got I figured it out. I know where go. I know what to do. Now this would be a perfect opportunity for something to come and bite my ankles. I almost shot him. Over here! I've been trying to reach you, my con was out. You got the singularity call, that's our ticket out of here. Get that call in the shuttle! Don't wait for me! Oh, fuck me! I'm not sure where this thing's weak point is supposed to be. I'm gonna try very hard to take out that arm if I can. I'm not. Somebody said there was a weak point on the back. Not sure if I really believe them. Ow, that's a bad time for stasis to wear off. Come on. Come on, Chumpus. Nope. Oh, there's all my there's all my juice. Dang it. Okay, I think that's good. Lockdown. Yeah, that's good. That's most definitely good. And diamond semiconductor. I just lost Sweet. all of Hammond's vitals. Is he dead? Oh god. It's just us now, Isaac. Oh, it's not. I got Hammond right here. We can, it's fine. It's fine. We got cloning technology, right? Ah shit, he doesn't fit through the door. Alright, whatever. Never mind. Upper back and armpits. Yeah, see I was trying to shoot the armpits. You can shoot the legs off. Warning. Catastrophic failure of fuel containment. Evacuate the vessel immediately. Wait, his gun? Can you get his gun? Never mind. Warning. You can't get his gun. Catastrophic failure of fuel containment. Evacuate the vessel immediately. Now we get to find... 
Chuckles the soldier man. Let's we'll switch Warning. over to this one. Catastrophic failure of fuel containment. Evacuate the vessel immediately. <laughs> Just in case. You got no arms, Jim. You just got no arms. Warning. I know it's Dan. And legs. Evacuate the vessel immediately. Oh, I guess he's coming with me. You can be Hammond marked. Hammond marked too. Where'd you go? No. He just instantly disappeared. I. Warning. Catastrophic failure of fuel containment. Evacuate the vessel immediately. You know, I'm going to be honest. I would not trust an elevator in this situation. Saying like baseline. Oh, good. Warning. Bloody hand Catastrophic hands. failure of fuel containment. Evacuate the vessel immediately. External airlock, they say. But what about? Nope. Never mind. Warning. But what about save station? They say. There we go. Just gonna. Let's just Evacuate let's just do a sneaky sneaky little save a do. Those are some durable elevators. Yeah, I mean, to some degree, you kind of have to have the elevators be, uh, be some of the last things to go in an emergency. Because they don't have stairs on these things, they might. This would be a bad time for anything, uh, anything to come and bite me in the toes. Dare, wait. What? Oh, the Valor. I thought it said Waldo for a second. I was like, what? Zero gravity. But no. That would make no sense. That wouldn't make any sense. That would not be threatening. Uh, but then again, action. it would make a great, like, s spy submarine. Oh, God. That would actually be hilarious. Instead of the hunt for Red October, it's the hunt for Red Waldo. <laughs> Oh, that actually works really well, except for the fact that I almost died. Alright, sticking with this gun if I can. It seems fun. Fun enough. Hello! Oi. Alright, force gun! That is a sweet setup. We got a lot of nodes for it. Otherwise, I could, like, put stuff into my rig, but I don't even know if I need all that. Because, yeah, otherwise I could do, like, a little bit of capacity or... Now, let's do force gun. Because rig, rig would be nice, but I just can pop healing items. Hey, thank you, Rad David, for the bits. Hope you enjoyed Dead Space and Dead Space 2, if you do it. I Ideally, I'd like to play through all three. It, depending on how many games I have, there might be a little bit of a wait between uh, one or the other. But I'm probably going to aim to play all of them, if I can. Oh, no, no adjacent node detected. Oh, I thought they were connected. Oh, well, capacity is fine. Uh, let's just get the speed module for now. It's a decently high-end gun. Right, and there's no save point, but that's fine. We're about to leave. I should recharge my stasis when I get the chance. Oh, well. Alright, so we've got three chapters left. I don't know if I'm going to make it tonight. I want to say the final chapters real quick. I don't remember. But yeah, I would like to, uh... I, oh. I would like to, uh, to play all of them in short succession. If we're lucky, we can. Isaac, I've located the shuttle Hammond found. <laughs> Shit. No good. That shuttle's brain dead. 
Someone removed the navigation cards. God knows why. There's three of them scattered around the deck. I'm downloading their locations. I can't access the doors from here, so you'll need a crew key. If you can find those parts, I think we can get that shuttle operational again. Do they wrap their faces? I think I hear Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But yeah, so we found the Unitologist Shrine. It looks like they all died to a gunshot. To the brain. Center of the forehead? I don't know. Yeah, elite speech on the center of uh, some large tatas. That's weird. Somebody had a giggle on that one. Oh, we also have a lift to go up. Might as well do that. All right, let's first manage some inventory. I'm sure. I'm sure I'm loaded on garbage. Uh, let's move over one of the large med packs for like a medium one. Diamond semiconductor. Well, I'm. I'm good. Force energy. That should be good. Force gun. We still haven't found the next. Uh, we still haven't found the next suit blueprint. Now, there's the military suit blueprint in this game. If I remember right, it was. It's like, weirdly hard to find. Can somebody confirm that one for me? Because, I know we're we'd be coming upon it kind of soon. Unless we've already missed it. And like, I know it was pretty swank. But I don't remember... What it was, and I kind of want to just like, go full hog on nodes and just make the force gun fun. I guess, honestly... Let's just, let's just make the force gun fun and uh, pay the consequences later. I could always just sell all of those health packs that I've been hoarding. <laughs> I have so many of them. Alright, so what's that? Sleep, sleep lock C. So I think I think this is just kind of a free exploration zone. And that means free reign to loot everything everything involved. I was waiting for him to come down so I could start shooting, but he never did. It was the reward for the shooting game. No, oh well, I'll live. My eyelashes is like out of place or something. It's very strange. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's like a it's a power node that you get from the shooting game, or who knows what. Sorry, it's just hard. Like, looking around and, like, feeling just like a tickle. Hey! Speak of the devil! And it shall just randomly fall into your lap, I guess. Okay. Z-Ball rules. Step onto the lighted platform activated to start the game. Jump to as many scoring platforms as possible to increase your score multiplier. Then use your kinesis module to grab the ball, shoot it in the basket. Before the shot timer runs out, beating each level opens up a locker with a reward inside. I don't... I'm going to be honest. I don't think I can. Oh, God. How many lockers are there? You know, grand scheme of things, whatever. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm like three chapters from beating this game. I don't... I don't need it. If I need it, I'll go back for it, but I don't think I do. Let's go see how much we need for the next level of suit. Okay, so what do, what do I need for the level 5 suit? Looks like it's going to be 60k. Ooh. Oh, well. I'll live. We'll just uh, hoard hoard cashola for this level. 
Yeah, the advanced soldier rig is unlocked at the beginning of New Game Plus. And to think I could have just loaded up my old save. Oh. Wouldn't have been worth it. Okay, so we can't actually go in there anyway. I want to play an alternate Dead Space. Like, I want to play a Dead Space style game at some point. Where, like, the New Game Plus is completely different. And it's like, oh... Okay, no, I've said this a billion times, but I really want to play it. Oh, hello. United We Ascend? Is Uni Unitology a new hope or just another scam? By Carrie Von... Or Van Ot Otkin. If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts a following of millions, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims 78 billion of stock in multi-global companies, and owns two of the largest... Two of Earth's largest financial institutions. GPSG Financial and Unitas Energy Investments. From its beginning as a cult of personality, Unitology has become a sacred established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, professor of anthropology, blew the whistle on what he claimed was the biggest cover-up ever instituted by Earth government. The discovery of an artifact, or marker, which proved beyond any doubt that there is alien life in the universe. The government labeled Altman a kook. A, a kook? Yeah. But his claims struck a chord with some, and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest. Unitologists believed that the marker contained a code, the key to eternal life. Through rebirth and ascension to heaven, the kicker is you have to die first. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets to themselves. All, across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there's a dark side. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe that there are at least three ranks above the average believer or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to a follower. These ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think about, uh, think taking all your money's bad. The church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they do with them? Nobody will say. And attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed. With their emphasis on transformation and rebirth, maybe we wouldn't like the answer even if they told us. One rumor that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding program. <sighs> Some claim to have seen the fleet. No document... Uh, no documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the claimants all say these mausoleum ships, despite their huge size, continued on page 94. I bet if Vis Visceral wasn't part of EA and not killed, they would have maybe released a remastered Dead Space on this 10th anniversary. That would have been lovely. It really would have been nice. Sadly, EA... Devours everything and roads all it touches. I mean, there's some games that kind of survive, but those are the games that they just publish and have no control in. Okay, Force Gun. Let's make you fun. One hell of a tree. Hope is worth it. You were saying about Dead Space-like games. I... I feel like at some point... Okay, we're gonna go hunt her down. Um... We're probably just gonna be listening to her. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up, Wingus. What? I not? My inventory full? It's not. This is confusing. Okay. Well, we've got a save station. I guess that... Sorry. No, is itchy. I guess there's nothing else there. Uh, end of days. Oh. I guess I can just save over this one. Uh, but I get the feeling eventually we're probably going to get, like, um... Uh, you know... Somebody kind of tries to cobble together effectively visceral. Not to continue the story, but to make... Shuttle. If I could make the journey, I could fix everything. I'm sorry, Mr. Clark. 
Unless you can prove to me you can get it space-worthy again. I'm afraid I can't let you through. I need to know you're on my side. What do you cling to when all must seem so utterly hopeless around you? Dr. Cross was a true believer. She had faith. And now she awaits her transformation, her rebirth. Are you ready to ascend, Mr. Temple? Of course you are. Have no fear. You will play your part soon enough. Witness the conviction of a true believer! They are ready. Take them. Embrace them. It would be interesting to play another game or like see cutscenes from his perspective. Because I think he's supposed to be hallucinating like crazy. But remember, also I totally forgot about this whole section. Well, no, I remember the end result. I don't like it. Okay. Doesn't look like I can cut those. Trying to take those arms off, but I can't aim. Uh. Man, whoever came up with mouse acceleration is a crazy person, and I hate them. Guess I should just take those tentacles off first. Otherwise, he's just going to be sending endless amounts out at me. There we go. Man, I hate that. Yeah, close range, the force gun is good. Yeah, the main problem is just... Not against those things. Not for what I was trying to do. <sighs> I was hoping the uh, the grenade would work, and it kind of does. Oh, thing on the wall insta kills you if you get close. Makes sense. It's got a bunch of te tentacles. Doesn't seem like the kind of thing that you could really go toe to toe with properly. Watch it just be like, okay, so we need a key. Uh, now we just went to the women's bathroom, did we not? Well, we definitely didn't go in there. We didn't get this either. Okay, back this way. Ugh. Legs are falling asleep. Oh, I see. Now here we go. So when do we fight Immortal Monstrosity number two? I think it's actually just a straight up boss fight here. I don't think he really chases us this time. Good. No resurrection for you! I know you were probably my girlfriend's buddy. But no resurrection for you! I'm a little curious how, how the, uh, the doctor, Dr. Temple, or is it? Managed to capture and, like, kill all of these people. He really seems to have a knack for, well, I mean, I guess he could 
has like a trank gun. this gun it's pretty effective at taking out the tall men creatures that I couldn't normally fight are suddenly a lot easier now because we don't have to worry about the the squiggly dudes like it doesn't do an amazing amount of damage but it wasn't terribly ammo inefficient and I didn't have to like go snipe out all those little guys which I think I'd have to do with every other gun that I would yeah temples the engineer that just got killed yep we were, we listened to quite a number of his audio logs. Oh, apparently we needed that thing. But yeah, I like the force gun because it's like, oh, something's in front of me. No, it's not. All right, so we're good here. Looks like it. That was quick. Oh. Almost done here. Thank you, goodies. Are the best. You know, actually, if Obsidian survives, I bet an Obsidian Dead Space like would be amazing. I don't know. I want Obsidian to not. Mr. Clark, I really must speak with you. I'm very close to your position, and and I know you want to hear what I have to say. I can explain all this. So what happened? When you have the nav cards, I'll let you into the security station. We must talk. Hurry! Like, I don't know. I think, it, I think it would be really cool if, um... If somebody picked up this kind of game. Because we really haven't had a whole lot of, like... Good action horror. Action suspense? This is not the right direction, actually. This is the one. There we go. Yeah, we actually have the right, the right thing for this. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to chapters 11 and 12 tonight. We'll have to finish them tomorrow. I'd like to work on them today, but my hand is just a little achy and it's getting just a little late. I'm trying to work on writing for Nano Remo. It's not been quick. My problem is I'm a bad writer, so I'm like slowly learning how. There we go. That's better. Writing and rewriting stuff is not easy either. Um, is this? No. Hey, we found the men's bathroom. That's a sweet grenade. But, uh, yeah, so I've been slowly, slow, slowly slogging my way through it. It's been fun. I like writing. I wish I had done more of it in high school. I used to write a lot when I was system in Sleep Lock B has been shut down. You'll have to find an override nearby to get to the door. Let's see. Hey, save station. Oh, good. That's a lot of blood. Uh, I used to write a lot when I was in elementary school. I just moved to uh, mo just moved to California and didn't have a lot of friends and. At the time, I guess we had a computer, but I, for whatever reason, had had uh, decided that I was going to just start spending my recesses at the computer lab, just writing. I think eventually one of my teachers told me I... Oh, you son of a... I thought I killed you. I might go in the hole. I can't aim right now. Yep, we go in the hole. Note to self, have the right gun out this time. But yeah, I... Ugh. I can't aim at all. The first time I ran into one of those guys, it was awful. 
I, I think that might have actually been the thing that originally convinced me. I'm sinking in my chair. I think that might have been one of the first, uh, one of the things that actually convinced me that I should probably use, um, uh, infinite ammo the first time I ever played. Because I was just like, I don't want to deal with this. For good reason, too. But yeah, I think with the writing thing, one of my teachers straight up is just like, no, you, you have to go outside. Okay, come on. Come on, aim. Thing is, I'm... I can't hit it half the time. Okay, we're gonna die a couple times to this. Nope, we're not. Alright, we got it. It is really hard to aim that. Doesn't matter if you're using keyboard and mouse. In fact, it might actually be harder with keyboard and mouse. Because with controller, you can kind of drag the stick in the right direction. With the mouse, it's a little bit more awkward. You're not used to that. Oh. Aces? Door lock overridden. All right, so we can go in. Give me that leg. Give me that arm. I think these guys got tougher. That's a good. Yeah, let's go back to the force gun. Chances are, I'm not going to get tentacled again. These beds look identical to the beds from Prey. Huh. Yeah, Prey was incredibly... Was much more inspired by uh, by this game than I expected. Like, I was... Playing through this, I, I'm, like, actually finding myself... Uh, I'm finding myself, you know, noticing the similarities and stuff. And, yeah, the further I go, the more I realize, yeah, it's, uh... There's some stuff shared there. Not bad. Oh, are we just going back? We're just going back. Lots of orange paint. Did Prey have a whole lot of orange paint? I remember it being decidedly fairly gray. Oh, no, we've already been in that storage room. We're just going back over here. Probably in there. Let's keep saving. I mean, we killed the, killed the tentacle. I don't have to re-kill the tentacle. That doesn't... Ugh. That doesn't sound fun. There's a lot of similarities. Never compared those games. It was awesome, though. Even if it was buggy at times. I didn't really run into a whole lot of bugs and prey. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact Ripper and Turing you. Maybe you shouldn't have been there exactly. What the? Oh, God damn it. I think I got it. Stay down. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Okay, there's an oxygen thing. We're good. Just one little surprise dude. And that was it. Yeah, Prey had orange paint all over the place. I guess I just filtered it out. I don't remember. I... It must... Yeah, I'll take your word for it. I... Right now, off the top of my head, I I can only remember Moon Crash. And even then, I don't... I don't know. Now, whatever you do, don't stomp the fat guy. Yeah. Well, I've, I've given up stomping in this game. I... I thought stomping was actually really effective in this. Life support but... and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Nobody would be alive to hear that. I like 
with this gun. It's effective. It's no boomstick necessarily. I gotta stop doing that to myself though. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. But it's satisfying. But did he drop anything? He did. Oh, Nef card. I think we needed that. Yeah, it's it. You know, I keep saying I gotta stop doing that. Oh, God. Aw. <gasps> oh. That didn't work nearly as well as I was hoping it would. Alright. What else we got around here? Okay, so it, it's garbage against the get. It's garbage against the Twitchers, at least in its current state. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Bring that right back up. There we go. I do not like Twitchers. I I thought we'd be done with them, but I guess I guess they're going to be a consistent enemy type. It's unfortunate. I actually really appreciate the silence. You know, like, you can kind of hear your own footsteps. I actually wish you couldn't hear the lady just because it would make it extra eerie. I wonder how scary that would be. Uh, like a... A horror game... That's dead silent. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair if specialist. I'm not mistaken, there's an action RPG that's coming out soon. That's like that. <gasps> the main character is is death? I think. It didn't look very good when I saw it at PAX. I don't know if I'll play it though. We'll see how my schedule looks. My schedule is always kind of a weird mess. Okay, residential hall. Wandering around. It's telling me to go to the other way, but uh well, I guess we'll grab that and contemplate gross. If it was entirely silent, it might lose its impact. True. It might seem more like a mistake Life than anything else. Climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Anything else? Nope. Looks pretty boring in here. Where am I going? Oh, right, we already got the... Oh... I just pressed Q. Hope I didn't use one of my good health health kits, but at the same time, oh well. Okay, once, it just wants me to go back. Exiting vacuum. I wonder... I mean, you could actually do that. It wouldn't even be too hard. All you'd have to do is just turn off all music and uh, sound effects. I don't think it'd be very good, though. Honestly, to have a, a totally silent game. It would, it would have to be... It would have to be done incredibly well. Or draw you in. So, another thing that uh, I guess I kind of want to talk about for this game... It's shockingly bright. Have you guys noticed that? Like my webcam is almost darker sometimes than the than the game itself. There's very few sections of dead space that are not lit well. And I actually really like that. Dang it. Um But you know, most of the time when you play Horror games, they're they're ri they're lit really poorly. Uh, they're dark; it's hard to see. They're lit really poorly. The enemies uh, are hard to spot. Huh. I didn't realize they're. Bits would come squiggling after you. 
Well, I'm liking the force gun. I can't tell what's an enemy. And what's just flesh noises. What about silence with ambiance? Like quiet ambiance sounds, the character sound, otherwise quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean there's like a billion ways where it could it could be done well. Okay, I got three. Let's keep pumping him into this thing. I'm actually I'm really digging it as a weapon. I don't know if I'll go the rest of the way. I probably will. Uh, where are we? Okay, down we go. Oh, we got the key for that other section. I wonder if I have enough money to buy the ship, though. But, you know, yesterday I was playing Project Warlock. Noticing my microphone is actually, like, casting a shadow on my face. That's awkward. Um... Let's see. So we wanted the sh the store. Okay. Let's see if I have enough money. I don't think I do. I could always sell some of those med kits. I'm straight up not using half of them. Oh yeah, look at my inventory. Uh Yeah. Grand scheme of things, I could probably I could probably part with some of this. Probably not much of my ammo. Pulse rounds. We don't need those. Because I'm not going to be doing New Game Plus. I have no interest in doing New Game Plus. It's all the air cans. Stasis packs. I know I could save them. But I could also just get the level 5 suit. 